hello everyone today in this video we are going to add our model title and this save button text we are going to render this uh, dynamic through jquery and we are also going to get these values into the jquery so let's get started so here in the we name this model title and this save btn we name this save btn right so let's uh, get started with this uh, jquery and start our javascript code right so basically jquery is a javascript library which is uh, used uh, for the same purpose but their methods and everything uh, names are very shorter that's why we prefer this jquery so if you write 10 write a 10 line of code of javascript and uh, you can do this into the jquery using three or four lines so it's very simpler that's why we always prefer to use this jquery so first we are going to type uh, document to dot ready why we use this function because it's used for checking that our dom is ready or not so it means that our page is fully uh, loaded then we are going to execute our uh, here jquery stuff right so we are not going to execute anything when our page is getting refreshed during process so let me open it open the console for errors so when you are doing the jquery stuff or javascript or javascript stuff you need to open your console which is used to debug your code so now it's uh, telling us that dollar is not defined why this error is uh, throwing because it's required the jquery cdn so we did not edit this so we need to add the jquery cdn so let's google it jquery cdn or you can directly go to the jquery website and grab this cdn so I'm using this grepper extension so you can if you don't have this J uh, grepper extension you can go to this uh, jquery uh, website and grab this let's click on same minified or un uncompressed it's totally upon you and just copy this one and then add this into your idiom into your head tag so let me go to the head tag uh, make sure that you are uh, jquery cdn is uh, jquery ajax cdn is added in the head section so this will also work uh, here but in some cases it does not work so you need to make sure you need to add this in the head section so other tags are you need to add this in the script tag right okay so now let's get refreshed so it's going to work and uh, it's going to pop up that uh, here right so it means that now it's not throwing any error so it means our jquery is properly working so now let's move to our next topic so here we are going to first set our model title right so how we can set this so let's define the model id so let me add uh, it would be a model title and then i'm going to add this so uh, uh, you can say that it would be html and i'm going to add this uh, create category right create a category save this one and give it a refresh and yes no error let's click on this and yes now create category is added so why we added this through jquery because when we uh, we are going to use this for use this model for create and edit both right so we are going to manipulate these values at the runtime. If we have this uh, loaded this uh, form for edit category, so we want to display this here edit category, right? And we can also say that here update button. So let's go here and here we need to add this. So we need to also change this save btn. So how we can do this? So let's copy this and uh, make this uh, id of save btn, right? So let me make this save btn and in the save btn i'm going to add this uh, create category or you can say that to uh, save category right so let's go here get refresh it's going to display a save category or you can also display a, a it only save right so, and then now these are correct right so we are going to uh, send our now we are going to get our values uh, into uh, and we are going to get the values and send them into the server so how we can do this so we are going to perform an event that when we click on this save category so it's going to grab the value from this uh, name field and from this type and say uh, send this values to the server so let's uh, implement this 
so here i'm going to implement a click event because we are going to click on this add category a uh, save category button and we are going to send this call so here i'm going to mention this save btn dot click event right so hope you are familiar with this click event if not so it's going to basically when we click on this it's going to execute it so let me show you so here you can dd your output so clicked right so save this one and i'm going to tell you that how it's going to behave so we are going to basically check its output so here i open so when i'm going to click on this it's going to display as clicked in the console clicked okay it's displaying us so let's click on this and now it's displaying at that clicked so here in this uh, jquery terminal so you need to uh, if you click on this one so it will display us uh, display view the messages of uh, your script uh, and then this no error this will give you an error if you are getting any error from this web page so this will display us both errors and messages right so hope you get an idea okay so here we are going to get our values so there is two ways to get the values from the input field so first i'm going to show you a simpler one so here i'm going to variable name i created a variable name and i'm going to grab this value here so which value i'm going to grab this from name field so let me go to the name field and this name field so i'm referencing this id and let me add this this one is a type right so here we need to call the well function which is used to grab the value attribute of this name so it will basically get the value from this input and save this into this variable right so if you want to print out this uh, variable so you can also print this variable so let's go here let refresh and uh, basically it's a full series full live environment series i'm not going to skip any of the steps so here I'm going to make this mobile and I'm going to click on this and yes, it's turning mobile. So if I click on again, so it's going to display as mobile, right? So we can also grab the same thing. We can also grab the type from there, similar as we get this from this name, right? So here we need to define the type dot well, and now we are getting these two values. So if you have uh, values, uh, in our case now there is two values. If you have values more than 10, 20 or 50, so you don't need to manually define each and everything here, right? So there is a quick way. So what is the way? So way is you need to define here a new form data, right? And in this, you need to type this. So this, this will reference that uh from which form you are submitting the data and let's save this into a new variable so i'm going to make this uh, form data or you can say that form okay simply say that form so here i'm going to console this out console dot log log this form okay let's get refresh and uh, i'm going to uh, fill some dummy data here so you can also remove these um, uh, before executed script from this uh, button let's click on this and it will clear the console for you click on this save and it says that failed to construct form data parameter one is not type of html element hmm. so you need to remember that uh, you need to define the name not id or class because we are getting this through form data so let's go to the form uh, i know that uh, uh, this error will be uh, happen and uh, i'm not uh, skipping this and i'm also telling you that first showing you the exact error and then i'm going to suggest you the solution because people learn a lot from these mistakes so here you need to define the name and this would be a name right and here before we need to remove this id and add this name so now this will grab the name and type from this form it's not going to throw the any error remember that this form data is get the values from name attribute not id or something so here i'm going to add this mobile category would be electronic save and it's still throwing that form one html is not so let's click on this create 
so what's the exact error so it is playing as uncaught form construct one to be type of html hmm weird stuff why it's saying that uh, i think we did not hot reload our web page so let me hot reload and run it again okay let's uh, click on this it would be uh, mobile this would be uh, electronic save and it's still throwing the errors okay so our video size is going bigger so we will fix this in the next video so i will meet you in the next one bye bye